and the national GDP has shrunk by 0.9%, which is a decrease in the second quarter for a second quarter in a row. And that by all accepted definitions is a recession. That's not what we want. We shouldn't be trying to crush our economy. We should be getting out of Joe Biden's inflationary policies instead of trying to crush the economy to tackle inflation. That is literally their plan. Hey everybody, hope that you all had a great week this week. I had an awesome week because I have my three boys with me this week before they go back to school. Major, not quite back to school yet. Um, my wife, Brianna, she's got Madeline this week, but I had the three, I had the three monkeys. So any updates you guys want to give on this week, Magnum? No. <laughs> no, Major? No. Do you want to say hi to anybody? No, no, no. Not even mommy? Oh, I got you there. You know you want to say hi to mommy. Maverick, did you uh, run into anybody this week? Yes, Nancy. Nancy who? Nancy Pelosi. Okay. All right. Did you have a meeting with her? No. Okay. What would you have told her? I don't know. You don't know? what If you could have spoken to the Speaker of the House, Nancy, and, and told her anything, what would you have told her? Thanks. She should do her job more often. You know what I'd tell her? I don't see her that much on the floor, so oh. I'd say to do her job more often. That's a good point. She's not on the floor very often, is she? Right? She's not often on. I would have told her, thanks for the quarter, Major. I would have told her this quarter isn't worth as much as what it used to, and we should be working every day to fix that. Cedric, you want that quarter, buddy? There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for saying hi to everybody. You can go, uh, go run along and play and do what you want. Yeah. Bye, Major. Bye. Good luck crawling under the desk. Oh. All right, so let's start with the economy. There was a lot of news on the economy this week. I want to help you through some of the political DS and understand what it means for you, what it means for your family. Now, first up, Wednesday, the Federal Reserve announced that it was going to hike interest rates by another 75 basis points. This is the fourth time this year that the Fed has increased its rates in an attempt to get inflation under control. Now, what exactly does that mean? It means that it is more expensive to borrow money. That's what it means. Borrow money for a car, for a home, your credit card, anything like that, it's more expensive. So if you have any type of loan or credit card, your interest rate will be higher. That's a major problem because thanks to Joe Biden's inflation, prices at the pump and prices at the grocery store and everywhere else, they're going through the roof. And many Americans, they're being forced to put more of their purchases, more of their groceries on their credit card, more of their gas on the credit card to compensate for those prices. So not only are you paying more when you swipe your credit card because the cost to put 10 gallons of fuel in your vehicle or whatever is that much higher, you're also going to have to pay more when you pay it back at the end of the month. These are the wrong policies, certainly at the wrong time. And, and this is why this is so important. It is the direction that the administration feels like they should be going, which is exactly right wrong. They want to make life more expensive. They literally want to crush our economy to tackle inflation instead of working to make things cheaper in your life in order to tackle inflation. Work to loosen up the supply chain. Let truckers be on the road more hours. Let the energy prices come down because they have good energy policy. And when you have good energy policy, it's cheaper to get things to and from the grocery store. Reduce the prices in that way. That's not their direction to tackle inflation, to, to reduce regulation. Their direction to tackle inflation is to make things even more expensive for you. So let's move on to something else that we got this week. We got the GDP report, the gross domestic product report for the second quarter of 2022. Now this report confirmed what many people have been speculating, that the United States is officially now in a recession. The national GDP has shrunk by 0.9%, which is a decrease in the second quarter for a second quarter in a row. And that by all accepted definitions is a recession. That's not what 
what we want. We shouldn't be trying to crush our economy. We should be getting out of Joe Biden's inflationary policies instead of trying to crush the economy to tackle inflation. That is literally their plan. The Biden administration doesn't want to admit that. So you're going to hear a lot of spin in the coming days, the coming weeks, the, the, the White House press secretary team and, and everybody that's working there, they're gonna be working overtime to try and redefine what the term recession means and try and convince you that everything is just fine even when you're paying $4.54 for a gallon of milk. Now is not the time for these kind of political games. There's never a time for these kind of political games. And it's not the time for splitting hairs over definitions of what is a recession. They need to look at what their policies are doing to you, doing to all of us, and, and adjust course, adjust the direction that they're going because the direction that they have is not right for Americans and it's not even what we could call American. They're, they're anti-American policies. Now is the time, it's time to get back to pro-growth policies, pro-America, America first policies that worked under President Trump and that's what I'm gonna continue to push for in Congress every single day. Now turning now to some good news. On the floor of the House of Representatives this week, we passed a bipartisan bill that I co-authored to award the Congressional Gold Medal to those who were killed in the attack on the U.S. Consulate in Benghazi on September 11, back in 2012. J. Christopher Stevens was serving as the United States Ambassador to Libya. Uh, he was a member of the Career Foreign Service. Glenn A. Doherty and Tyrone Woods were combat decorated U.S. Navy SEALs. Sean Smith had earned an Air Force Commendation Medal for his service in the U.S. Air Force. All four lost their lives defending our freedom and I cannot think of people more deserving of Congress's highest civilian honor. Now the bill now moves to the Senate where it has 48 co-sponsors and I'm very hopeful that we can finally see it signed into law. Now finally I want to give you all a quick update on the St. Lucie River Railroad Bridge. Huge thank you to everyone who submitted public comment to the U.S. Coast Guard. Final count by July 25th was 2,357 comments. Uh, I want to thank all of you who came out to the bridge this past Monday. It was a powerful statement to Admiral McPherson, who is the decision maker about what will be the schedule for that railroad bridge. And you taught him a lot about our community and how much the waterways matter. Just to, to give you a, a little bit on what's going to happen uh, in terms of next step, the Coast Guard is going to be sorting through all of those 2,300 plus comments. Then, based upon those comments, they are going to issue a proposed rule, what they think the rule will be that will come in the coming months. Then after they issue a proposed rule, there will be another opportunity to have public comment on the proposed rule, share your thoughts about what they put together, whether you think they listen to your comments or not before it's actually finalized. So they believe that they're gonna finalize that rule uh, right about the new year, maybe just prior to the new year. So uh, it seems like a long road, but really that's a road that, I mean, it's almost here. That's gonna be here before we know it. Uh, it's easy to get fatigued in these things, but please continue to keep up that fight because whatever rule gets put in place, that's probably a rule that we see for the next decade to determine how much access we have to our own waterways. You think about that, our own waterways are trying to be shut off to us. That's absolute BS. Um, so in that, please continue in the fight. You're making all the difference in the world. And uh, in that, as always, it is an honor to represent you. I hope that you all have a great weekend back at home. I hope you're having a good uh, just prior to, to back to school time uh, with your family as uh, I'm going to have some of that time when I get home. And uh, in that, I wish you all the best. You all take care. Major, do you want to say hi to anybody? Mm -hmm. Who? Mommy. Who? Mommy. Who's mommy? Mommy. I can't hear you with your finger in your mouth, silly. Mommy, out Mommy, what? Mommy, out You want to say hi to mommy? Yeah. Okay, then say hi to mommy on there. Hi, mommy. Do anything else you want to say to mommy? Do you want to tell mommy you love her? I can see her. No, it's not FaceTime, so you can't see her on there. Do you want to tell her you love her? No. No. Okay. All right, so we'll call that a practice run, and now we'll start. <laughs> Ready?
Here we go. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.